In this video, I will cover how to extract your key.bin and your other files from the Xbox 360 Slim light-ons. <coughs> if using a VIA 6421 SATA card, you may also need an IDE cable or converter. It basically has an IDE connector here, a SATA connector here, laptop connector here, and the other end is just a, an ordinary USB. They have videos online that cover how to read your files from your Xbox 360 Slim drive using the VIA 6421 SATA card and this adapter. I will not cover that. There's already a vid video on YouTube on how to do that. In this video, I'm using an X360 USB Pro with my connectivity kit from DIYGadget.com. We sell connectivity kits. We sell our version of the PMT probe. We also sell the S SPI unlocker. We sell our version of the Cool Runner chip, NAND readers, and all other kind of cool adapters and products. And you can find all that on DIYGadget.com. We also have forums. So if you're having any problem, our customers and registered people that have went to the site to register can go into the forums and post up exactly what problem they have and we're more than happy to help you troubleshoot exactly what problem you're having and get you back up and running. So this one covers, this one applies to the 360 Slim 9504, 0272, 0225, 0401, and a couple other drives. Basically, once you have it connected and ready to go, I have my connectivity kit to power the drive. I'm using the X360 USB Pro. Next thing we want to do is open Jungle Flasher. Once we have Jungle Flasher up and loaded, we want to go to the DVD Key 32 tab. There it shows the X360 USB Pro, which you don't need it, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, it has no problem uh, communicating with any and all the 360 drives so it just it makes it makes it a whole lot easier but like I said if you're using a VIA 6421 SATA card it will work you just need the adapter that I showed in the beginning of this video to, 
to obtain the, the information from these drives. I always like to refresh even though even though my drive is showing 0225. I still like to hit refresh. And then we'll come over here to right here. It says slim key. Press slim key. A box will pop up and it'll say, do you wish to send unlock to slim? We want to say no. And this may or may not pop up. If it if it doesn't pop up, then it will automatically show down below in the log that it's extracting um, those bin files for you. But if this does pop up, um, basically it's saying I should click yes, power off the drive, and then back on within one second. So we're going to click yes, power off, power on. See it drive in vendor mode. As you see, grabbing key sector. Try not to show my my keys for my drive. Key sector verified. It's grabbing all my all my files. There's my key dot bin. Click save, inquiry.bin, choose where I want to save it to, save it, identify.bin, save it, serial.bin, save it, last one to pop up will be dummy.bin, save that one, then it'll pop up, do I want to auto load LT, LT plus custom firmware? Choose no. At this point, we can go ahead and close out a jungle flasher. Open up the X360 doc software and copy the key.bin and the query.bin to the same folder that the X360 doc software is in, and you're good to go. All you need to do now is put your drive back into your 360 and follow the video tutorial exactly how to install the X360 dock. There's a video for the FAT console and then there's also a video for the slim light ons. And it's real simple. It, the the board X360 dock board is uh it's it's all uh marked. Um what gets connected where and you just watch the video and look at the board and the board will you know show you you know to the drive or to the motherboard or or to the dongle and you just connect it up and you'll be up and playing in no time this covers the Xbox 360 Slim light-ons.